Hi, I'm Craig Morris. Welcome to my backyard barbecue. Today I'm here for more insights into the USDA grades to help you make your grilling season a success. And now we're talking beef. When you want to know the quality of your beef, just look for the USDA grade shields found right on packages of both fresh and frozen products. These shields tell you that the product meets USDA's high standards for quality and help take the guesswork out of selecting the best products for you and your family. Whether you're grilling or making your favorite dish for a neighborhood picnic, quality and consistency matters. Beef quality is graded for tenderness, juiciness, and flavor. The labels that include prime, choice, and select. My agency, USDA's Agricultural Marketing Service, or AMS, defines the quality grades for a wide variety of commodities, including eggs, beef, and poultry products. These products are evaluated by highly skilled USDA graders who work alongside safety inspectors in processing facilities across the country. USDA graders are trained experts who examine products as they are being made and compare them to the official U.S. quality standards. Then they assign the correct USDA grade shield that reflects the quality and consistency of the product. Let's take a closer look at what USDA's beef grades really mean. Prime beef is produced from young, well-fed beef cattle. These cuts have a good deal of marbling and often are featured in restaurants. And so you know, marbling is the amount of fat streaking within the cut of meat. The more marbling, the more flavor, tenderness, and just plain juiciness. Prime roasts and steaks are excellent for broiling, roasting, or grilling. Choice beef has less marbling than prime. Choice roasts and steaks from the loin and rib are very tender, juicy, and flavorful. Many of the less tender cuts, such as chuck roast, will be most tender if braised, roasted, or simmered with a small amount of liquid in a covered pan. Select beef is very uniform in quality and is usually leaner than the higher grades. It is fairly tender, but because it is less marbling, it may lack some of the juiciness and flavor of the higher grades. Here's a little grilling tip from me. Tender cuts should be cooked with dry heat. Other cuts should be marinated before cooking or braised. I'm often asked about other USDA marks you see on packages of beef at the supermarket. All beef must be inspected for safety and wholesomeness by USDA. And you will see those marks on packaging as well. While all beef must be safety inspected, not all beef carries USDA grade shields for quality. So whether you are picking out steaks for a summer cookout or a roast to simmer on the winter stove, remember that the USDA grade shield is an easy way to ensure that you are getting the quality and consistency backed by USDA experts. For more information and insight into beef grades, be sure to check out our infographics and other resources at www.ams.usda.gov. And look for more videos about other USDA topics, labels, and shields. See you all next time at The Grill.